Hey, I'm going to show you how I uh, made an adapter for my Yukon Ranger so you could use uh, security camera lenses for it. Uh, like this one right here, this is a 4mm. I use it uh, for meteors. Uh, of course, I own a Yukon Ranger, like a lot of you guys do. I uh, like it really well. use it mostly for uh, tracking video and satellites. I know a lot of you guys use them to look for UFOs and different things. Uh, like a lot of you guys, uh, you know, I like the Yukon Ranger, but I wish there was other lenses you could get for it to give it a wider field of view so you could do, you know, other things for it, you know, if you needed a wider field of view. Uh, there is one lens. Uh, it's a 2 by 24 millimeter that you can order that uh, will fit a Yukon Ranger. It's the only lens that I know of. When I ordered mine, I got it from Yukon, but they don't even have them listed on there anymore. But you can find a few of them on Amazon. Uh, but I bought one of those lenses thinking that it might would double my field of view, and it didn't. I mean, it made it a little bit wider, but it wasn't that much at all. I mean, I was very disappointed uh, when I got it. You know, I was expecting to get, you know, a lot wider field of view than what it gave. It, it doesn't make a very big difference uh, whatsoever to the standard 42 uh, millimeter lens that the Yukon came with. Uh, I was really disappointed. So uh, I got to thinking a uh, little bit on how I could make an adapter to where I could put uh, maybe attach different lenses to my Yukon. I know a lot of guys on YouTube have got videos uh, uh, about their Yukons where they bought special camera lenses and you know plumbing parts and tried to duct tape everything together and get it to work a couple people I think have had pretty good luck with it uh, I've tried different camera lenses that I have on mine I never had any luck with it getting it to focus and stuff I think you just have to have a special kind of lens or something just I think just certain ones will work but uh, I come up with a pretty good idea uh, on how to do mine uh, I took that 2 by 24 I kind of sacrificed it, <laughs> and I, I took it apart. I took it all the way apart, completely apart. When I got it apart, I cut down the housing to where there was just this little bit left right here that gives me a little bit to hold on to, uh, you know, to screw it in and out. Uh, what I did then, I don't know if you can see it, you kind of see there where the paint scuffed off. Uh, what I did was, after I got it, the lens down to this part right here, see there's the threads where it's threads, you know, you can thread it into your Yukon. Uh, I got one of those, uh, which I have several, it was a C mount uh, adapter. If you don't have them, you can get them off eBay for like five dollars. or just a little aluminum adapter that you can screw into your security cameras and then you screw your lens is. What they do is if you have a lens that don't really want to focus good, needs a little bit more space, you can screw those C-mount adapters in there and then screw your lens in. A lot of times it will help you get focused with certain lenses. Uh, but I, I ground, I took my grinder, my Dremel tool, and I ground out inside this uh, housing of the old 2 by 24 lens that I had. I ground it out a little bit to where that uh, C-mount adapter would slide down into it really, really tight. I don't even have this thing glued together. I don't even, didn't even have glue on it. There where that aluminum, where you see that shiny stuff, that's where I, uh, that had a lip on the bottom of it, that C-mount adapter, and I ground that off uh, about halfway, uh, because after I stuck it up in there and then screwed this into my Yukon, it wasn't wanting to focus uh, real good, it needed to go back a little bit, so I, I just ground that off. You, you might have to play with it if this is something you decide to do, you might have to play with it a little bit, you know, to get your, get it, uh, get it to work, but, uh, now all I have to do is uh, just screw out my uh, the standard. I'm going to do this and hold the camera. Just screw out the standard uh, 42 millimeter lens that come with that. Uh, screw this one back in its place, and then let's see if I can do this. <laughs> Take your I didn't screw that all the way in. I'm just doing it for time here. Just screwed it in a little bit there. Then you screw in your 
security camera lens and you're good to go. Uh, you don't have to make any modifications. Uh, modifications to your Yukon Ranger, you know, it's not going to void your warranty or anything like that. Uh, you just unscrew your lens that come with it, screw your adapter in there, screw your uh, security camera lens in there, whatever you want. I use a 12 millimeter lens a lot for satellites. It gives me a little bit wider view, helps me to find them better and track them better. Uh, I've just, uh, in making this adapter, I've really opened this up to, you know, more possibilities, you know, more things that you can, you know, it's a lot more versatile unit now. You, you, you can do a lot more with it because you use uh, different, you know, sizes, types of lenses in it now. Uh, also, uh, because I made this adapter and the way it's made, I have a uh, nose piece for my telescope, you know, that you can, you, you can screw it into a, like a security camera. And then use that security camera, you know, it'll fit right into where the eyepiece goes, and you can use that security camera, you know, on your telescope. I can do it with this, too. I can screw that nose piece in there and actually use this, uh, hook it to my telescope and use it through my telescope. I've got a video on my YouTube channel called Lunar Occultation of Theta Libre. It's where the moon uh, blocked out a star, and uh, I actually use this setup with that nose piece attached and this unit on my telescope to record that. Uh, so, you know, it's, like I say, it makes it a lot more versatile unit if you want to go ahead and, you know, try to make that adapter. Uh, when I bought that lens, it cost about $40. They still cost about $40. If you can find them, they haven't come down much. Uh, of course, that, like I say, if you don't have one of those C-mount adapters, uh, they're about $5 on eBay. So for around 45, you know, 50 bucks at the most, you can make one of these adapters and uh, you can then, you know, use these different size uh, security camera lenses on your Yukon Ranger to get uh, different fields of view and do different things with it, you know, use the nose piece with it, whatever. And it just makes it a lot more versatile unit. Uh, yeah, it would cost you about 40, 50 dollars to buy that lens, tear it up and, <laughs> and fix this. But, in my opinion, it's worth it. Uh, most of you guys that have these units, you're like me, you're buying video cameras, you know, accessories for your telescope all the time, and, and it's not uncommon, you know, to spend 40 or $50 on a, on a piece or an accessory, you know, that, that you're going to get. So, like I say, to me, it's, it's worth the 40 or 50 bucks because it's it made this unit a lot more versatile. You know, I can use it for so many different things, you know, now. Uh, it just, you know opens the field of view part of it, you know, it's unlimited now, you know, I, you can just, uh, whatever lens you want to put in there, you know, you can, you can use, you know, for whatever reason you want to. Uh, like I say, when I put that in there, I didn't glue it, I fixed it where it uh, would just fit in there good and tight. Like I say, to, I had to move it in and out a little bit to make sure I got it to where it would focus, but it, you know, it's not a big deal. I've got it now. All I have to do is screw it all in there and I'm good to go, you know. Don't have to play with it. Don't have to tinker with it. Once you get it in there, you know, where it needs to be, I mean, you're good to go. Uh, best part is, you know, it don't uh, void your warranty on the unit. You know, you don't have to take it apart, put a bunch of duct tape, glue, and plumbing parts and junk on there, you know. You just screw your, uh, unscrew your original lens screw that in there, put in a lens, whatever size you want, what, depending on what you're doing, you're good to go. So uh, just wanted to make this video kind of let y'all know about that option that's out there if you want to spend 40 or $50, you know, and make one of these adapters. Like I say, I think it's well worth it, and I think you'll be happy with it. But uh, that's my video, and uh, thank you all for watching.